Although he didn't necessarily invent it, he definitely made the saying YOLO mainstream with this hit the motto. But does Drake deserve a payday for the commercial use of the abbreviated slogan for you only live once? The answer is yes, according to him. Drake recently called out stores like Macy's and Walgreens for selling merchandise like t-shirts and hats that use the phrase YOLO, saying, Walgreens, you gotta either chill or cut the check. And now for a brief YOLO history lesson. Drake first mentioned YOLO in a 2011 mixtape with Rick Ross, but truth be told, YOLO has been around for just as long as there's been dumb people to say it. In fact, it may have first come to popularity circa 2004 on the NBC reality show The Average Joe. In 2006, The Strokes released a song titled You Only Live Once, and in 2011, Zac Efron got YOLO tattooed on himself, saying it's his personal mantra. Although I'll never understand why anyone feels the need to tattoo words that you live by on your hand. But that's just me. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Does Drake own the rights to YOLO? Tell us where you stand on the matter and stay tuned for updates on Clever Music. I'm Erin Darling. Thanks for watching. Don't get a YOLO tattoo.